Hello, it's me again. You're tuning into I Am Lou with me, Lou. And um, I'm trying to get these videos out as quick as I can um, today because I'm on this kind of roll and I'm feeling great. Smashing. It's super. Earlier on, I'd give you a little bit of an insight on what I'm hoping to do, really briefly, um, for people who didn't watch me previous one video. Um, I'm hoping to do a video blog on my diet and what little fitness I can do, which I'll get, get into in a minute. Mine is more predominantly diet. The history of my diet is that I did go huge at one point. I met my partner um, nine years ago, Darren. I was 17 at the time, I'm now 26, yeah. Um, and I was 10 stone in weight, I'm five foot seven. And after about six months, I think it was, I went absolutely huge. To some people, I did, it, it's not huge, but in, in terms of me, I felt really huge. I went to like 12 stone. I felt really fat, uncomfortable, um, clothes weren't fitting correctly. I was just content, you know, that happens when, when you're in a new relationship or whatever. Anyway, uh, three years into that, being, being that size, I decided that drastic measures needed to be taken. And I done the Atkins diet for a good six to eight weeks. It was drastic but I did get down to 10 and a half stone and I felt great. Now I stayed at 10 and a half stone for a good year. I kept the weight off me for that long and I did, you know, didn't do extreme dieting. I just kind of cut down carbs and kept at a level. So when I felt like I was gaining a little bit of weight, I kind of toned down the food and controlled it in that way. Um, I kept that up for about a year and then the year later, I think it was when I was 23, 24, I got um down to eight stone ten which was quite i'll be honest it was quite drastic a lot of people said i didn't look healthy i looked a bit ill and i took it a bit too far which you know you can you can go to the opposite ends of the scale and go to each extremes but somewhere along the line when you get a little bit older a little bit wiser you realize right you know i need to kind of keep it in the middle and you know just play it a little bit safe, not be too thin, not be too overweight, just be right and, and be comfortable in your own skin. So, um, yeah, so I'm predominantly focusing on diet, like I said earlier. Nine years ago, I was um, in a car accident, coach accident, sorry, in Austria, which left me with chronic pain in the hip. So it's pretty hard to exercise. Um, well, it's, you know, it's pretty impossible to exercise. I try and do what I can. Um, I've got good upper body strength because I use, you know, light weights and you know, try and, you know, do as much as I can physically, uh, and I'm constantly on painkillers, these little things, which are not good for your health, so yeah, that's why I have to really control my diet, my diet a lot, because the exercise part, you know, I don't have the, the benefit of doing too much of that, so, um, so yeah, so my diet plan, it's Friday today, Friday the 12th of March, and, um, I'm not actually dieting today, which as you've seen earlier, I ate discussed some caramel bars and I've just been to the shop and bought some jellies, you know, candy for you Americans out there. And um, I bought Haribo jellies, which I have kind of a weakness for, which is quite shocking. Um, so this, now I'm taking the time out these next, you know, two to three days to kind of really get myself in gear start preparing myself, getting a, you know, a diet together, a diary and whatnot, and to kind of, you know, get in the swing of things for Monday. So Monday to clear start, because if I don't start on a Monday, I'm like flipped out in the head or whatever. So yeah, low carb is the way I think I'm going to go with this one. Not extremely low, like Atkins 20 grams a day low, more like, you know, maybe a carb rotation. I don't know. Yeah, that's something that I'm going to discuss over the next you know, a few days in my blogs and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, that, that's about it, really. It's not really interesting, but these blogs are really to show you the distress and agony and pain I go through when I diet. Um, and if it's a case where I'm craving something and I'm, you know, I'm actually not hungry, I'm just craving. Rather than me going to the fridge and doing something and eating it, I may as well talk to you guys which will stop me from eating. So I may as well, yeah, may as well use that. That might be a good tool, actually. Anyway, so that's a little bit more about me. And um, you'll be sick of me. 
by the end of the week because I'm just going to be doing loads of videos. So, all right. Thanks for tuning into it. I am Lou. See you later. Bye.